Good morning. Welcome, everybody. I have Anissa and Rachel with me this morning to do our workout. So we are moving to the Zoom platform for next week. So when we save the videos, um, that's what they'll, they'll be on for you to watch. And also, that's where we'll be recording them. So you just go to, it's like, it's like a meeting platform. You go into it, and you can follow us from there. It's a little bit easier um, for everybody to, um, to be able to see. So this morning, it's Friday, and we are going to do a detox sequence. So we hope you join us. We hope you enjoy it, and you can always wave when you get on. We love to see people wave or leave comments. Very motivating. And... All right, we'll get started. We'll meet in child's pose. Rachel, if you need to move that further, you're welcome to just push it over. Okay. Let your arms extend out in front of you. Your knees come nice and wide. And let your forehead meet down on your back. We have Gypsy with us this morning. She's very um, rambunctious. So we start to come into our own breath to focus. Take a big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Power your breath in through your nose. Send it out through your mouth. Two more breaths here with your open mouth, exhale. One more breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Look up towards your thumbs. Pull yourself back into hero's pose. So bring your, you can bring your knees to touch the back on your heels. Let your hands rest on your knees. If this is uncomfortable, you can always come knees directly over hips, over knees. Close down your eyes and take a moment to start your ujjayi pranayama. Using this breath to heat your body, you inhale through your nose and exhale out through your nose. This breath can detoxify your body. As heat starts to build, starts to burn away the old, burn away the things that do not serve your body or your mind today. Two more breaths with your Ujjayi Pranayama. One more breath in and out and look forward to the top of your mat. Bring your hands down, flip your toes right away this morning, downward facing dog. You can stay with your Ujjayi Pranayama for as long as it serves you. You can pedal your feet, bring one knee over the earth, let it hover, and let your other knee come over and hover. Pedal your shoulders. You can shake your head yes to relax it away from your shoulder blade. Shake it no to release the tension side to side. Steady your downward facing dog. Spread your fingertips wide. Reach your heels towards the ground and push your belly button towards your thighs. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Step your feet to the top of your mat. Release your hands at your low back today, bringing your fingertips to touch. If you would like, you can reach your arms up over your shoulders. Let your head remain heavy here. Take a gentle twist towards your right, so your torso and shoulders start to turn towards your right. Exhale, gentle twist towards your left. One more. Come over to your right. And gentle twist to your left. Back to center, let your head be heavy. Let your hands release back down to your low back, your low spine. Release your fingertips down. Plant your left hand down on your mat. Take a generous bend in your left knee. It will easy twist open. Twisting in the body detoxifies it. It's like wringing out a sponge from its center. We're doing the same thing with these twists. Exhale, fold. Plant your right hand with the spider finger. Take a generous bend in your right knee and twist open. Exhale, fold. Toe heel your big toes to touch. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Draw 
draw your shoulder tips up and back. Squeeze your elbows into your sides to activate your triceps. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, very slowly start to roll up, taking your time to come to the top of your mat. Let your head be the very last piece of your body to align with your spine. Open up your arms, close down your fists, create these tiny balls, then reopen your fingers. Inhale, mountain pose, sweep your arms up to the sky. And exhale, samastitihi, pull your hands into your heart. Set your intention for your practice by offer detoxifying your body as well as your mind today. Letting go of something that does not serve you or just simply focusing on letting go of each posture of what you think it should look like or feel like and let your body breathe into it. Whatever your intention is today, and it can be truly anything, let's reunite our breath together with an inhale, fill up. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale your intention. Exhale, send it out. One more great big inhale, fill up your lungs. Feel your ribs expand as your lungs expand. Exhale, send out, feel your ribs shrink as your breath releases. Open your gaze to your fingers. Inhale, mountain pose, sweep your arms up. Great, listen today, tee out your arms with the earth and you're gonna spin open to the right, being mindful of your neighbors <laughs> twisting, keeping your hips facing the top of your mat. So you can even bring your hands, your hips will turn to the top as your shoulders gently twist. Thoracic lumbar spine twist. Inhale, reach back up, mountain pose. Exhale, tee out your arms, and then reach and twist open. You can bring your hands to your floating ribs, turning your hips, and then work your shoulders and your mid-back to twist. Inhale, mountain pose, both arms reach up. Exhale, swan dive down, let your arms float to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands to the back to high plank. Chaturanga Dindasana, take your flow. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Lift your knees, hold this upward facing dog. Your first one of this practice this morning. Lift your knees and then open your heart. Bring your spine even taller through the crown of your head. Exhale, downward facing dog. Put your toes and your hips high. Let's start to move this. Inhale. Look forward, exhale, step or float your feet to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, grow your spine strong. Beautiful, exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose, sweep your arms up. Exhale, bring your arms to a T, an easy twist to your right. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, easy twist to your left. Keeping your hips forward here. Inhale, mountain, reach up. And exhale, swan dive down, let your arms float out to your side. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands to back to high plank. Chaturanga, find your strength as you flow. Exhale, lower, tuck your elbows in. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time through this flow. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or float your feet to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, row. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, mountain pose, sweep your arms up. Exhale, tee your arms, easy twist to your right. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, easy twist to your left. Inhale, mountain, reach up. Exhale, swan dive down, let your arms float to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands to back to high plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Shavasana. Take a big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or float your feet to the top of your mat. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. We're gonna hold this one the first round. So you sit your toe bone super deep into space. Lift your toes off of your mat. Push the energy into the pad and heel of your foot. Now point your pinkies forward, thumbs back, and activate through your fingers to activate your shoulders. Great, drinking bird. Airplane your arms behind you. You lift your heels up off your mat. Choose to sit a little bit deeper into your chair. Yes, Anissa. Breathe in. Now work your pinkies towards one another in the back of your body. Just for four. Back to chair in three, two, one. Reach up to your chair. Exhale, fold to your heart center. Listen, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, ball pose. You bring your feet up to your tippy toes. You take your tailbone and you sit it towards your heels. Wrap your arms around your leg. Maybe you just wrap one and hold the other on the earth. Draw from the top of your chin towards your heart. Imagine this massaging your digestive tract. You're here for four, three, set your heels down, forward fold in two, and one. Release your fingers, set your heels down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, reset once again. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands, step back to high plank, Chaturanga Bindasana. Exhale, lower with power. Inhale, upward facing dog, open heart as you come up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, your knee to your left elbow. You're gonna pull it across, so this is the twist and hold. Keeping your tailbone tucked towards the earth. Use the strength of your core for four, three, two, and one, inhale, high. Exhale, low lunge, come through. Plant your left hand inside of your right foot to take your easy twist to open. Option to bind here, you can wrap your bottom arm around, bring your top shoulder to stack. Great, breathe in. You chose the half bind, reach your fingertips back up. And then we rise up with an easy twist in our spine. Breathe in. Breathe out. Exhale, exalted warrior. Bring your front fingertips up. Stay deep into your front leg. Inhale, high crescent. Both arms reach to the sky. Exhale, warrior two. Expand your arms open and hold. Breathing in. And letting it out. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, extended side angle. If you would like to take the twist here, you bring your left fingertips down and you twist open with a warrior back leg. And breathe. Stay deep and connected to your front, squeezing both hips to your midline. Great, meet back in extended side angle. Inhale, reverse your warrior, pull all the way back. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Set your right leg high, listen. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, pull in, squeeze tight. Inhale, high. Exhale, right knee, to your nose. Inhale, high. Exhale, cross body and hold. Inhale, high. Exhale, Akapada Chaturanga. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, cross your knee over to your right elbow, tucking your hips, squeezing your abdominals. Just for four, you can flex your foot. Three, two, and one. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step through. Plant your right hand inside of your left foot and twist open. Stacking your shoulders, reaching your fingertips high. Great, inhale, rise up with this twist. And breathe. Easy breath, draw your shoulder blades back into space. Great job. For four, exalted warrior in three, two, one, exalted warrior. Drop your back hand down, front fingertips lift up to the sky. Inhale, high crescent. Great. Exhale, warrior two, open your stance and hold for this first one. Push the air beneath your hands down to the ground, making this imaginary connection with your hands in the earth. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, extended side angle. Option to take the twist here. Your right hand 
comes down to the inside and you twist, drawing both of your hips in to the midline of your body. Breathe in for four. Back to extend inside angle in three, two, and one. Move back and extend inside angle. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Send your left leg high. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, pull it in. Inhale, high. Exhale, left knee to your nose. Inhale, high. Exhale, guide it across to meet your right elbow. Hello, elbow. Inhale, high. And exhale, ekapada chaturanga. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward, facing dog. Exhale, downward, facing dog. Take a big breath in here. And open mouth, exhale. Inhale, your intention. Exhale, something not serving you. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or float your feet to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, drinking bird. Send your arms back, lift your heels up. Hold this round. Option to interlace your fingers behind your back. We're gonna find this pulse, pulse little itty bitty motion as your heart is opening to the top of your mat. Maybe opening to your intention a little deeper. For four, three, hold it low, and two, and one, hold it low. Keep your heels lifted if they're willing and able. For four, three, sit your heels down, chair pose, and two, and one, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold through your heart. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, ball pose. Curl in round, thank you. Breathe in, breathe out, wrap your arms around. You can tuck your chin towards your chest if that serves you. Keep lifting your heels. Just for four, high plank in three, two. And we'll plant your hands, float your feet back to high plank. Chaturanga, exhale, lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, cross body, squeeze. Inhale, high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, easy twist, plant your left hand round out through your right. Inhale, rise up in your easy twist. Exhale, exalted warrior. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse your warrior, come back. Exhale, circle your hands down, send your right foot high. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. They are best friends, they know each other. They're on the same side. Inhale, high. Exhale, need to know, they're getting to know each other. <laughs> Inhale, high. And exhale your knee across. They are really working on their relationship. Oh. Inhale, high. Long distance. <laughs> exhale, yes. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up dog, I love that. Long distance. Exhale, downward facing dog. The hardest of relationships. <laughs> Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, cross body. Your long distance relationship <laughs> pulling in together. Inhale, high. Exhale, low lunge, step through. Plant your right hand inside of your left foot. Take this twist, feel it in your abdominal cavity. Inhale, rise up, easy twist. Squeeze your outer thighs together. Exhale, exalted warrior. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, extend it side angle. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And exhale, Cartwheel your hands down. Send your left leg high. Exhale. Best friends, left knee, left elbow. They pull in. Inhale, high. Exhale, knee to nose. They're getting to know one another. <laughs> Inhale, high. And then your long distance friend, pull across. <laughs> Inhale, high. Exhale, ekapada chaturanga, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
We have one more time through our sun B. It's a little different this round, so breathe into the knowledge of the difference. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or float your feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Sit low, rise up, and breathe. Easy breath in your seat. Exhale, drinking bird, airplane your arms, lift your heels. Great, you're gonna use the momentum of your body. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana. Set your right foot down, lift your left leg up. Flex your toes on the top, and breathe. Great, bring your arms parallel with the earth. Leave your right fingers forward, and draw your left arm back. You're taking this easy twist in your body. Keeping your hips forward in space for four, Three, Tadasana, and two, and one, Tadasana, reach your arms up. Exhale, warrior three. You can kick your heel towards your glute. It makes it a little bit easier to float your foot back and breathe. Finding the strength. Ooh, you're here for four, three, standing splits, and two, and one, standing splits. Let your forehead come towards your knee. Lift your back heel, tilt your left hip towards the earth. The crown of your head be heavy, like it wants to meet your toes. It's like, hey, I've never met you before. Let's take this journey together <laughs> on our mats. Lift your heel one inch higher. Yes, thank you. Exhale, high crescent. Set your back foot down. Lift your torso up. Exhale, warrior two. Open your stance. Great. Interlace your hands at your low back. Lift your heart up and open. Great. You're going to find a humble warrior from here. To turn your shoulders and then you let your heart come to the inside of your front leg. Lift your shoulders up and breathe. Reach the crown of your head out. Just three, two, draw yourself back up. And we'll draw yourself back up to open your heart to start. With your fingertips, draw down your back leg. And then exhale, warrior two, release open. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, extend inside and go. Arms feeling heavy yet? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Inhale, reverse your warrior. My feel like 20 pound weights. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. At the pot of chaturanga right off the back here. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or float your feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, sit low, rise up. Last time through, exhale, drinking bird, air, put your arms, lift your heels. Use the momentum of your body, inhale, one-legged Tadasana, plant your left foot, lift your right heel off the ground. Exhale, bring your arms parallel, easy twist. Right fingertips go back and breathe. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana. Exhale, warrior three, kick your heel towards your glute and then send back. Find your strength. What is your power for four, three, standing splits in two, and one, standing splits. So your fingertips come to the earth. Lift your back heel, flex your toes to make your hamstrings work even more on your elevated foot. Can you smile at your toes on this side? They wanna connect too. Breathe in. Breathe out, lift your heel one inch higher. Awesome for four. High crescent in three, two, and one. High crescent, set your back foot down. Inhale, rise up. Great, breathe, exhale. Warrior two, open up your arms. Interlace your hands at your low back. Let your fingertips draw towards the earth. Then exhale, turn your torso, humble warrior. Come down to the inside of your front leg. Your arms can pull up over your shoulders. Let the crown of your head be long and strong for four. And three, two, pull yourself back up. And one, pull yourself back up. Let your fingertips draw down towards the earth. Exhale, warrior two, open. Inhale, reverse, warrior. Do we need to go forward? Inhale, reach forward, except it's an angle. So we'll make it even. Inhale, reverse your warrior, come all the way back. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. High plank, ekapada chaturanga, exhale lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. 
Great, let's pedal our dog. So down dog, butt kick, you're kicking one and the other. Exhale, exhale. See if you can in these down dog butt kicks. Land soft and then push your belly button towards your thighs, feeling that wonderful detox in your system when you have some pressure at your midline. Just for four, three, high plank in two, and one, high plank, roll forward, lower down to sphinx, and breathe. Reminder that you can take breaks whenever you need. I'm not very great at cueing breaks, so you're welcome to them whenever you want them. Bring your shoulders to be right under, or right over your elbow tips. And you gaze slightly out in front of you to turn on the back of your body. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Great. And then we're going to find sphinx abs. You lower from your ankles, your knees down to your hips, and pull it back up. Option would be on the tops of your feet, you lower down and pick it up. And so everybody feel their heart rate yet? Oh, yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Exhale. Inhale. <laughs> Wasn't sure if I was the only one over here. Up and down. Stop doing it. <laughs> You're here for four. Three. Two. Hold it up. And one. Bring it up to hold. You can stay in Chaturanga feet or you can keep your feet tapped. You're good. Whatever you choose for four. Three. Lower down in two. And one more all the way down. Take a break if you need it here. Ooh. I want to be like Gypsy. Great. <laughs> she just napping. She's a navigator. All right, so we are going to be on our backs in core. We're going to start with bicycles, being that we are doing detox. Come here, Brooke. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Knees come over your hips. Hands come behind your head and neck. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, high bug. Exhale, twisted side to side. Exhale. Really now. Exhale. I can't. Exhale. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Speaking to the dog, everybody else keep going. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring it right. And one. Bring it right. Easy breath in. Let your hands come to your legs here. Your hands come to your legs. Press your hands into your thighs and breathe. Hold here, you've got it. Twisting your left shoulder blade up towards your kneecap, pushing your left hip towards the earth for four, three, pulse your leg into your hand in two. And when your leg pulses into your hand, it's this little bit of pressure. Oh, you can feel it. Woo, for yes. four, yes, <laughs> three. Switch sides in two things, Rachel. And one, switch over to your other side. Just this pressure to start. You've got it, breathe it. Keep flexing your toes, lifting your shoulder up towards your knee for four, three. Pulse in two, and when your leg pulses into your hand, it's this little bit of isometric oh. activation. you got it for four, three, two, and one full body stretch. <sighs> So Miss Rachel really likes these side plank abs, so we're going to be doing them today. <laughs> Thanks, Rachel. Yeah. So you can come over to side plank. You have an option. You can be on your elbow and you stack. You can be up on your hand and stack. Both are great options. We're going to start with our left hand planted. You reach your arm up and over, and you draw in and out. Exhale. Exhale. For four. Three, two, hold it in, and one, you've got it for Whoa. four, three, two, and one, switch sides. Bring your right hand, your right wrist, right underneath your rotator cuff. Lift up to your side plank, and when you're ready, exhale, exhale. Just four, back to the other side in three. Two, and one, back to your other side. Bring your left hand right underneath your rotator cuff, stacking elbow, and here we go. Exhale, exhale. Just four, you're almost done. Three, two, and one. Hold it up and in, hold it in, hold it in for four. Three, other side in two. 
And when we get over to your other side, woo! Sorry, we're sweating modify. here. <laughs> no, you're good. You modify how you need to here and in your own home. Always listening to your own body. Woo! Keep lifting your hips for four, three. I did not request this. Two. <laughs> Stretching two and one full body stretch. So wonderful. Okay, other side. Left leg comes up and over. <laughs> Anissa might be regretting this decision today, but I love it. <laughs> exhale, inhale, exhale. <laughs> what did I get myself into? <laughs> exhale. <laughs> Every day is an adventure and a journey when you're with me. Exhale. <laughs> with your intention. Exhale, send it out into the universe. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step through. Great. Inhale, rise up, high crescent lunge. Great, draw your shoulder tips over your hip tips. Great, draw your hands into your heart. Hinge forward from your hip, and exhale, prayer twist to your right. As you come into this twist, suck your back edge of your outside edge of your leg in tight. We tend to let it loose here. Pull it in super tight. Soften through your toes and stack your shoulders. You are twisting from your wonderful midline. So inhale, reach your crown out. And exhale, twist a little bit deeper. One more inhale. Exhale. Release your hands down to your mat. Walk your foot out. Option runner's lunge or lizard pose today. So you drop down to your back knee. If you're choosing runner's lunge, you can stay up high like this, seeing that your knee is underneath your ankle or slightly behind it. If you're choosing lizard, you start to open your foot so that you can see it with your vision. And then when you're ready, you can come down to your forearms if that serves you today. But please know you are always welcome to stay up on your hands. Little to no pressure in your hands as you are on them. Squeeze the outside edge of your left leg once again. Feel the difference that creates in your opposite hip. Yes. <laughs> 
to walk your hands back up. Flip your back toes, send your right leg back. Plant your left hand underneath your nose and roll open for your side plank. Lifting up. Breathing in. Breathing out. Creating this open heart. Now reach your arm up over your head to create length. You're reaching. You feel a stretch along your side body from your fingertips to your hips, maybe even your heels. Just for four. High plank in three, two, and one. High plank, Chaturanga Dandasana, option Akapala. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, come through. Inhale, high crescent, lift up. Taking your shoulder tips, stacking them right over your hip tips, and exhale, draw your hands into your heart. Hinge forward, exhale, prayer twist to your left. Keep squeezing the outside edge of your left and your right leg in tight. Inhale, find length in your spine. Exhale, twist even deeper. One more. And gently come down. Runner's lunge or lizard's pose, your choice. Let your back knee come down to the ground. Let your hip open. And you gently walk your elbows to the ground. And breathe. Finding something that you can leave here on your mat. Maybe that something is fear. Maybe it is letting go of an old conversation that keeps popping up and reoccurring in your thoughts. Or maybe it was a dream from last night. Whatever it is, let it leave. Slowly walk your hands back up. Plant your foot back down. Slip your right toe. Send your left leg back to meet your right. Plant your right hand directly underneath your nose, stacking your shoulders. And you start to lift your hip up. Breathing in, keep pushing the earth away with gentleness. And then reach your arm up over your head, extending through your body. Squeeze your obliques, lift your hip one inch higher for four. High plank in three, two, and one. High plank, bring your hand back down. Chaturanga, akapada with your left foot if you would like. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down on Facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or float your feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Sit low, rise up. Another twist for your digestive tract. Draw your hands into your heart. Inhale, hinge forward. Option to take drinking bird with this. So you can lift your heels up and you find this prayer twist. Your knees stay in line, whether your heels are lifted or if they're grounded. So a good way to check that is to bring your form across your kneecaps. Sit your tailbone deeper than your heart. And breathe. Breathing into this twist. You're here for four. Forward fold in three, two, and one. Exhale, forward fold. Toe your feet hip width distance apart. Slide your palms underneath your feet. Gorilla pose. Option to grab your peace fingers around your big toes if that feels best in your body. Let your head be extremely heavy. Heavier than anything you could possibly imagine. Drawing you closer to the earth. And let this full body circle this unity of your hands and your feet be a connection to your truth. Knowing that your truth does not live in fear, but rather in strength. Let your head be a little heavier. Gently release your hands from underneath your feet. Show your feet back to touch. Please know you can always take this with feet hip width distance apart. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, chair pose, sit low, rise up. Exhale, draw your hands into your heart. Option to come into drinking bird feet and then prayer twist to your left. Option to leave your feet planted. Always checking your kneecaps to see that they're staying in line, whichever direction you choose. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let your tailbone is sitting a little deeper for four, three, forward fold and two. And one, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Toe heel your feet so just your heels are living on your space. Sit your tailbone back into a yogi squat. Malasana. And breathe. <laughs> yeah. Letting this feel good on your hips. If this doesn't feel good in your knees, for whatever reason, you pick yourself up and you rest at this point. This is the perfect point to be at. Or as you come down and find some serenity in your yogi squat. <laughs> I was purposely going behind you. <laughs> if you're ready, you can float your crow. If you're working on handstands or headstands, go for it. Whatever serves you here. Taking on what you're looking for in your practice. So if you're trying out crow, wide spaces between your fingers. You bring your big toes to touch. Ease out in front of you. Lift one foot and then the other to fly. Still working on it. And breathe. <laughs> Every posture is a work in progress in my body, so hopefully it is in yours too. You're here for a few more seconds, so you can play around here if you would like. You can rock and roll, finding your strength. And we'll meet back in our yogi squat. your spine be taller and exhale set your fingertips down straighten your legs toe heel your big toes to touch inhale halfway lift exhale fold inhale mountain pose rise all the way to your top exhale draw your hands into your heart from here one legged tadasana keep your hands at your heart center here this time though inhale your left leg high Breathe. Easy breath. Now bring your right elbow over to your left knee for this easy twist. Six, less than just four. Three, back to center in two. And one, back to center. Exhale, kick your foot back. Leave your hands at heart. And breathe. Easy breath. For four. One legged tadasana and three. Two. And one, one legged tadasana, draw your knee back up. And exhale, set your foot down. Pedal it out. Move to our other side. Inhale, one legged tadasana, lift your right leg up. And breathe. Bring your left elbow tip over to your right knee, twisting, feeling the from your core center. Inhale to center. Exhale, warrior three, kick back. Bring your hands at heart center for balance and stability. You're here for four. One legged Tadasana in three, two, and one. One legged Tadasana, bringing it back up. And exhale, set it down. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach up to the sky. Exhale, draw your hands down to your sides. Close your eyes and take a moment for your intention. Inhale it into your being. Exhale your ego. Inhale your intention into your heart. And exhale your ego. Bring your hands back to your heart center. Open your gaze. Tree pose, our final balancing pose on our right side. Bring your right heel. Bring it to your left ankle. When you're ready, bring it up into your calf. Avoiding contact with your knee to prevent injury to your beautiful, strong knees. When you're ready, pull it up into your inner thigh. If you're ready from here, grow the branches of your tree. And then focus on squeezing the outside edge of your left 
leg and pushing it into your foot. Your foot resists with the same amount of pressure. If you're trying to push each other away, this activates your muscles and your balancing posture. through your spine with one inch higher and exhale draw your hands to your heart listen bring your knee in and then kick your foot out and then set it down onto the ground pedal your feet Whew, other side <laughs> the left heel into your right ankle and then up into your calf when you're ready and then into your inner thigh if you're ready from there Soften your toes on your standing leg. Push your foot into your inner thigh. That's where you chose. Squeeze the outside edge of your leg. And then find that resistance. Grow the branches of your tree. Finding any expression with your fingers. spine and exhale draw your hands to your heart listen send your leg forward and then kick it up just for a breath and then set it down head on your feet Whew. inhale mountain pose reach up to the sky exhale swan dive down let your heart fold to the earth thank you inhale halfway lift exhale plant your hands chaturanga you only have three more left make them good exhale lower inhale up dog Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, go right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior one, spin your back foot. See that your heel is aligned with your back heel or the middle arch. You can shorten your stance. Inhale, rise up to warrior one. Breathe in, breathe out. Exhale, warrior two. Straighten through your front leg. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, trikonasana. If you would like to take a twisted triangle, you're welcome to bring your left hand down to the inside. You can take your right hand, push your hips so that they're in this plane together, and then you gently twist open through your shoulders. And breathe. Keep sucking your hip in towards your midline. And back in triangle pose. Inhale, reverse your triangle, come back. Breathe into your front hip. Inhale, star, reach up. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Let your arms tee up and come down into space. Finding any motion here that serves you. If you're working on your handstands or headstands, this is a great opportunity to start working on those. If you're working on opening your hips, you stay right here. You can move your hips side to side. Walk your hands one direction. And then over to the other. And then you're back in center, whatever you chose. Inhale, star pose, rise all the way up with a flat back. Exhale, warrior two. Great, listen, straighten through your front leg. Exhale, pyramid pose. Your arms come to frame out your front leg. This is a twist as well as a great big hip opener. You can shorten your stance to press the pinky edge of your back foot down onto the earth. Let your forehead become friends and one with your forehead. And you. Gently spin your back foot to face the top of your mat. Send your right foot back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg high, last time through. Exhale, low lunge. Your warrior one, spin your back foot. See that your heel is aligned with your back heel and middle arch. Rise up. Hips facing forward. Great adjustment. Breathe in. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten through your front leg. Reach forward. Exhale, trikonasana. Your hand comes to the inside of your front ankle. Stacking shoulders. If you would like to take a twisted triangle, bring your top hand down. Bring your left hand to your other hip to push it in. And then you start to twist open. And breathe. <laughs> Sorry. Exhale. Move back in triangle pose. 
Inhale, reverse your triangle. Come back straight into your front hip. Feel that opening. Inhale, star, reach up. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold option. Take the heart opener, the chest expansion, reaching your heart up and open, and then coming down into your fold. Let this feel all good in your body. You can move side to side. You can straighten your legs. You can bend them. Releasing the body when it no longer serves you. Gently, if you have that body, release it back to the ground. Inhale, star pose, rise all the way up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, pyramid pose, straight into your front leg. Come frame up your front foot. Let your forehead come down to meet your kneecap. They would like to be best friends on this side as well. So they're saying kind things to one another. I love you, kneecap. You are strong and beautiful. <laughs> Spin your back foot to face the top of your mats and your left leg back, your last jump around the exhale lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One big breath in and out. Roll forward to high plank, lower down to your knees. Sweep your feet around. And we'll meet in Buddha Konasana. Bring the pads of your feet to touch. You can, the closer your heels touch your tailbone, the more you're gonna feel this on your inner thigh. The further away this feels, uh, takes the pressure out of your kneecaps. So you start to lower down, all the way down here. Place one hand over your heart. You can let the slight arch in your low back arrive and be present. Just noticing it, you can shift gently side to side on your hips and then start to find stillness in Buddha Konasana. Feeling your pranayama, your breath, and your heartbeat. Filling your hands with your breath. And letting it empty. your heels underneath your kneecaps, bring your hands down to your sides. Inhale, lift your hips up to the sky. Option, work your shoulder blades underneath you, interlace your hands. If you would like today, ground through your left heel, kick your right foot up. Option to draw that knee in towards your belly button. You're gonna feel this compression to detox your hips and your low abdominals and digestive tract. Inhale, kick it back out, and then set it down. We'll switch sides. Keep lifting your hips. Send your left leg up and out, and then draw your knee in towards your belly button. Squeezy, keep lifting your hips. Inhale, kick it high. Exhale, set it down. Release your fingers. You can roll your spine down one vertebra at a time once your fingertips are released up to your sides. Put your knees into your chest. We'll take supine twist. Extend your left leg, hold on to your right. Draw your right arm out to a T or a goal post and guide your leg across. Let both shoulders stay grounded as you twist. Come back to center. Pull both knees into your heart. And exchange. Send your right leg long, hold on to your left. Bring your left arm up to a T or a goal post and guide your leg over. Bringing out your digestive tract with a twist in your torso. Bring your knees back into your heart and find happy baby. Make sure the inside arches or outside edges and you rock side to side. Let your tailbone be grounded. Let your shoulders and neck and head roll with you, creating a sense of unison as you rock side to side. Come back to center, cross at your ankles, wrap your arms around your legs, 
Bring your forehead up to your kneecaps. Inhale, fill up your tiny ball. Squeeze it tight. Exhale. Two more. Great big inhale. And exhale. Last one. Fill up this tiny ball. Give it a great big hug. Squeeze it tight. And release final Shavasana. Let your body take up space on your mat. Get comfortable. Wiggle your fingers and then let them relax. And pick up your shoulders and then let them release. And let the rest of your body simply fall open. Noticing the things around you, your own breath. The peacefulness of being at home. home being the place inside of your heart and soul. Letting your mind clear anything away that you start to see and let it fill with your intention. Soften your jaw, letting your tongue fall to the roof of your mouth. Soften the space between your eyebrows. energy back into your body with your breath and see it arriving at your fingertips, wiggling each of your fingers. See that energy going down your legs, arriving at your toes, and the energy through your toes. And then as you reach your arms up over your head, get the full body stretch. And draw your knees into your navel and gently roll onto your right side body. Let's reunite our breath as a community. Open mouth exhale. Fill up with love for your community. And share your breath with your community. One more fill up for you, one thing for you today. And let it out. Gently press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Draw your hands into your heart. Reach your arms up over your head. Gaze up to the sky. Lift one inch higher through your fingertips. And exhale, pull your hands to your heart. Thank you all so much for taking this time for your bodies, for your minds, for detoxing this Friday. The light and love within you honors, loves, and respects the light and love within each and every single one of you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you, everybody. We will be on Zoom next week, so look for information on that um, on our Facebook page. Wellness Yoga Studios. Um, yeah, in Rochester, Kansas. Welcome to our humble, humble home. Thank you, ladies. <laughs>